Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about differentiation. We're going to apply the chain rule, and actually in this one, the quotient rule. We differentiate each function with respect to x. So if I was given this function, y equals x to the third plus four parentheses to the fifth power, all over three x to the fourth minus two. Okay, so this one I'm going to apply the chain rule as well as the quotient rule. So I take my derivative, my dy dx, okay, and if you struggle with the quotient rule, I have other videos on that. Well, I want to take my, uh, I have this is written as f and g, right, top and bottom, f and g. So f prime, I have f prime times g, f prime is a derivative of the top. So we have 5 times x to the third plus 4, here I'm applying the chain rule to the fourth power, right, times derivative of the inside, which is 3x squared, times g, which is times the denominator, 3x to the fourth minus 2, minus f, which is my numerator, uh, x to the third plus 4 to the fifth power, times g prime, derivative of the denominator, which is 12x to the third. All of that's going to be over my denominator squared, 3x to the 4th minus 2, all squared. So people, when they simplify this, you could probably do stuff where you pull out, you know, a, um, a x to the 3rd plus 4 uh, to the 4th power in here, pull that out, multiply, distribute some things, whatever. I don't necessarily like to. I don't think it necessarily looks that nice. Um, I would if they had the same exponent right there or like the same, you know, same amount, so it was an easy pull out there, but... I don't want really to worry about that. So I, when I simplify this, I have a dy dx. I just kind of put uh, my coefficients out front. And if I have just an x squared being multiplied, I will. So I have 15 here, x squared times x to the third plus 4 to the fourth power times 3x to the fourth minus 2 subtracted by, I'm going to pull this negative to, uh, 12x to the third to the front. So we have 12x to the third times x to the third plus 4 the fifth power, all over my denominator, 3x to the fourth minus 2, all squared. And that's actually where I end it in my simplification. Um, some people can argue you can pull out some more things and simplify. I think we're fine as it is. Um, I really, we're practicing taking the derivative. We took the derivative. Quick little simplification. We're done. Um, there are more ways you can simplify a little bit more. Um, it's really up to you and what your teacher wants. So let's recap here. We're given y equals... Uh, x to the third plus four, all to the fifth power, over three x to the fourth minus two. From there, I took my derivative, I applied the quotient rule, I had the derivative of the numerator, okay, and I applied the, um, the chain rule there, times the denominator, minus the numerator, times the, the derivative of the denominator, okay, all over the denominator squared. There, I just did a quick little simplification here, to get my final answer to rearrange some things, and I got dy dx is equal to 15x squared times x to the third plus 4, all to the fourth power, times 3x to the fourth minus 2, minus 12x to the third times x to the third plus 4, to the, all that to the fifth power, all of that over 3x to the fourth minus 2 squared.